Hey guys, today is Monday, February 5th, 2018. Time for Bipolar Opposite. My name is Timothy Andrew Antonio Cubman. I don't know, I guess. Uh, we're going to have a little discussion for a few minutes. I, I don't know, but... Okay, well, it's not really a discussion because I'm talking and you're listening. You're listening, I'm talking, but... You're not talking, but I am, so it kind of kills the fact that's a conversation. I don't know. Whatever. So anyway, the point of the show is to do serious and fun. Serious and fun. Two are polar opposites when they meet. Now, of course, this whole thing is why this show is called Bipolar Opposites. Because I'm bipolar and polar opposites. So, boom, marriage made in heaven. So, basically, what I've been doing is, I've been interviewing people like you for... You know, topics I wanted to have on the show. So, I t I've been asking, interviewing people, saying, what do you want to do on the show? See, I have a degree in English and Journalism, so I'm allowed to ask these things. So, what I do is, I've been taking the interviews, and I'm compiling into this. Don't mind the evil kittens. I call it the index. It is the holder of all the topics I came up, and the answers that people come up with this season. So, today we're going to look at... Ooh. Okay. On January 30th, 2018, I talked about what would be the most useless power ever, and it's something a lot of people can do. It's cross their eyes. Now, then, yes, I said it was the most useless power there is. Like, so you can cross your eyes. Who cares? But, my therapist came up with even worse. She came up with, roll your, roll your eyes in opposite directions. I mean, yes, it's bad enough that you can cross your eyes, but to make them roll in opposite directions, I mean, I, I don't know. It's like, woo, that would be just completely disconcerting. Ugh, it's just a horrible, horrible thought. I mean, it's better to cross, woo, but, uh, or, that's just freaky. I mean, heterochromia, I can deal with. You know, I don't really like eyes, they creep me out, but still. Heterochromia is something I can accept, but able to make your eyes roll in different directions? Again, let's see use of that. Yes, heterochromia has very use, very little use too, but at least it's not something... Well, I guess you can call it unnatural, but it passes for natural when you have heterochromia. It's a mutation, or rather groovy mutation, as Charles Xavier would say. So, you know, just... I've heard of that kind of thing, chromia, crossing your eyes, but rolling your eyes in opposite directions, I mean, like what? Why would someone have that power? That would be the lamest superpower ever. And yes, crossing your eyes is lame, but googly, googly, googly? No. Just, no. No, I can't do it. I can barely make my eyes I can't even make my eyes cross. Now, if I'm able to roll my eyes opposite directions, then maybe I'd seem to be cool, but I, I don't know, that's kind of a lame mutation. It ain't groovy. It just It is. But, as my therapist has described in other sessions, it is what it is. I really want to put that on the, the show, but it was earlier this season, last year, late last year. So, you know, eye problems, eye problems. Can't do anything about it. I mean, I have brown eyes, and I force my children might not have a lot of brown eyes if I decide to have children, I don't know. So, it's basically a genetic thing. I mean, my mom had hazel eyes, but, you know, it's just, it's a condition to be born with certain color eyes. I mean, some people have purple eyes or gray eyes, all kinds of things, but if they could roll their eyes in opposite directions, that would be, that would be pretty freaky. I mean... You have heterochromia, you got one green eye going that way, one, blue, one, green, one blue eye going that way, it's just... It's just to go whoop, whoop. That's just... It's wrong. This whole concept of rolling your eyes in opposite direction is useless and wrong. The only use you can have for that is to show off or make your villain think, they're so, think you're so lame, they laugh at you and you can punch them in the gut while they're laughing at you. I mean... Seriously, come on, what use is that power? What is the possible use for that? I, uh, 
I'm sorry. I am just so, so sorry. If you can roll your eyes in other directions, please feel free to email me. Oh, that goes to all of you, too. You don't have your topic on the show or email me at bipolaropposite119 at yahoo.com. I accept anything except things that are religious or political. Don't do those. All right. You send me an email address, whatever you can on this page, however you want to contact, contact me. Just let me know. And as long as it's not politics or religion, you're on the show. Now, I guess I'm going to end the show for now, today. But I guarantee I'll be back tomorrow for more Bipolar Opposites. Send Tim Cullen, out. <laughs>